Hi Capricorn, welcome to your monthly readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what it feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. Or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram pages. So Capricorn, this month of January feels like there's this great sense of achievement and breakthrough in some some things where you have been uh, kind of wishing and working to get better at or circumstances to be more more of a positive influence in your life turning turning certain rough edges or difficulties you know obstacles learning how to work around those things those sharp edges is really the word here and smooth it you know it's like bringing peace an effort to bring peace into your life to bring love to bring uh, courage to do what you consider to be uh, the right thing some of you are really focused on doing the right thing and this can be of course you can apply this to any area of life where you feel that moral uh compass kind of guiding you strongly towards your inner truth you know to align your actions with that inner truth that some of you are really feeling it strong during this time i also feel like some of you are dealing with some type of desire and urge you know to fulfill your highest dreams and ambition and goals during this period of time january can be a very promising uh month for some of you especially those that have already established the roots and the proper foundation for that achievement to happen because you do have as a past influence the emperor so there's a sense of this personal power or this um personal achievement that some of you have uh, attained that solid strong foundation something in your life where you're kind of in control of that you are now it's like you've reached that foundation and now in the month of january you're looking up you're looking to either the next goal the next challenge the next um you know uh, amazing adventure or journey you want to try your luck on or you're just wanting to make your life and that foundation of life uh as well add to it more of a spiritual or artistic or creative tone so to not be just as so focused into the, ma the material realm or the the realm of you know hard work and routines and applying you know that energy of uh consistency and 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 perseverance you know where sometimes emotions and dreams can be left to the side so we can be fully committed to that more of that material work work so now it's like some of you that have attained or are you know feeling more secure and more empowered uh in your lives some of you are adding the star which is the near future so as the month of january progresses there's a sense of faith hope recognition renewal you know of faith or um attaining a certain degree of vision a higher degree of vision on something that can really make some of you feel great about yourselves about your life about everything that surrounds you so basically i feel like this is a very progressive month for capricorn but it's also a month of healing and of uh dreams there's big dreams big ambition big vision i feel like some of you are um you know working on expressing gifts from god so this message is about you using whatever you are born with the gifts i'm sorry <laughs> the gifts you are born with with the star here and this ace of cups and this temperance it's like you're being assisted 
okay, spiritually to push through and not be afraid to reveal your magic in that level of spiritual uh, bliss. But for though, even for those that are not into spirituality, it's about big dreams. It's about that big type of concept of life, the high, your highest ideals and dreams and goals. It's achieving something that you consider to be of greatness or th this epic story, this epic destiny you want to fulfill. So some of you are really, 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 really driven in positive ways. That's the thing is that I feel it's a very positive influence that drive. Um, you're very positive, uh, positively driven to achieve something that you consider to be very meaningful, very, very meaningful. Others of you are getting noticed again by that star quality. Others are recognizing your talents. You're being noticed. You're being uh, acclaimed. Some of you, I see a lot of acclaiming energy. So some of you that are into public, you know, dealing with the public or where your work or uh, you're hoping that your work would be, uh, you know, spread to the masses, there's a real great promise for you to achieve that or for you to gain more of um, like that feedback on your work or on your talents that could make you feel great and make you, it's like it also can make you, for those that have been feeling more discouraged, it can make you... Um, you know, win back some hope or renew hope on yourself and on your dreams. Also, for Capricorns that have been losing faith on themselves and on their dreams and on love, there's a great sense of sense of regaining this extraordinary faith in themselves and in life. I also feel that some of you are getting ready for big changes in terms of career and love it's like um i feel like the journey ahead for some of you encompasses this this uh great deal of of transformation in a positive manner um in all areas of your life and january may bring just that um proof sign person situation approval of something that is like the the sign that some of you have been waiting for to push ahead and keep pursuing um your dreams and that loving feeling towards uh other people or towards again your work your the career you, dr you dream to be a part of and so forth so there's positive revelations, changes, signs, omens, people coming to Capricorn's uh, life. Of course, that not for this is not for all of you. This is a general reading, but I feel that for Capricorn struggling, though, this month may be a month where you are being shown in the same way that I was talking about what you can do or what you should be doing to assist you and help you, um, you know, move forward in a positive manner where that light uh, is kind of waiting for you, you know, even if the road is still dark, even if the problems still linger and there's still a lot of things you're being um, pressured and dealing with that you don't like, January brings positivity. A positive influence on something now as we know it depends on our perspective and it depends on how we choose to look how we choose to react how we choose to behave uh, when something happens there's a little bit as well of this energy of childs of the revolution so some of you you either are um, you know, because the star is a little bit associated with Aquarius energy, right? So some of you are wanting to reform, change, innovate, you know, push the envelope on something. It can be a project, it can be on something that you desire to leave convention and do in a more, um, in a new way. There's a little bit of a sense of you wanting to re re revolutionize something. And it can be a small revolution, you know, uh, when I say small in terms of a revolution that 
impacts you though profoundly can be a complete change of scenario for yourself a complete change of uh, attitudes behaviors patterns feelings and so forth so it can be the revolution towards you that inward revolution or it can be this big urge to make a difference in the world and i feel like the majority of you is like uh, this this um mutual reflection because for those that is more externally still it's something that is happening inside of you that is urging and desiring this amount of freedom and this amount of change um some of you i feel like even though you have the saturn um you know transit uh, in your sign i feel like this saturn transit for the majority of you is a positive influence you know because it's something you can most likely um, master in a more gentle and productive manner than other signs because saturn rules capricorn so for you the influence of saturn can be felt as empowering or more empowering um and more productive you know more filled with a uh, sense of purpose again of, uh, fulfilling your destiny on something then for other signs where there's more that sense of limitation or repression now this doesn't mean that saturn is not going to bring um it's not going to bring you big tests proofs and uh trials and challenges and that sense of pressure what i'm feeling is that your 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 some of you the path of the Saturn uh, transit is one that is really, really, really going to be felt for some of you as empowering, as um, even as a um, is like a, an assisting tool by the universe, as I said, to make you conquer your dreams. Now, it can be the dream, as I said, of doing a difference in the world. It can be the dream of. Uh, you know, having that career or having that um, aim towards uh, doing something you love, something you meaning that, that is meaningful to you. It can be about the, the the big dream of finding love, of being in a relationship, of getting mar married or having children or whatever it is. Because this Ace of Cups is in the conscious pos position, so during the month of january capricorns are really conscious that they need love and they want love they know that or they are learning or they are opening up during this period to the concept that love is essential and the connection with their own inner being and soul is essential for things to get better the star temperance right so in order for things to get better you know you need to embrace love to be open to love the love others may be trying to give you but also to be uh willing to reveal that love to the outside to pour love into things right your projects your family um you know anything you're doing anything that is meaningful to you don't be shy in expressing that uh those feelings because i feel like for capricorns the more you show during the month of january the more you will receive back you will be given something in return for that embrace or that blooming it's like a flower blooming okay and opening up to the possibilities that circle around it so it's like that saying as well the 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 more it's like the more good things we do in life the more good things will come back to you right so and this motto can be very important for some of you during this time it's like the more you do to make a difference the more your heart is in what you're trying to do your soul your your vision your your truth you know because this this actually are very two vulnerable cards you have the star and the ace of cups for me this is um a, a strong emphasis in vulnerability because in the original uh image of the star in the rider white deck she is naked 
because there's that symbology of she's not afraid to reveal who she is to the world. Her gift is her truth and embracing that and embodying that and giving that away to others. So others are not afraid to do the same and to participate, you know, to con contribute to the awakening in a certain way for that global consciousness. So the star and the Ace of Cups together bring an opportunity for some of you as well that have that desire to uh, be more receptive to exposing traits of you or more accepting of vulnerable, sensitive uh, traits of others, during this month you can find that it's easier when you allow it, it's easier for you to connect with someone else, with an idea, as I said, with uh, something that requires that all the walls and defenses kind of um, you know, to be so that the guard can be left down. It's very important to let the guard down, to work together, to harmonize and blend, as I said in the beginning, the sharp edges or the differences between um, either two sides of you, two aspects of you, or the differences that exist between you and others. You can find, this is the unconscious, it's the temperance energy, you can find that um, you can actually work together with those differences and create some type of alchemy. So the the concept here for January for Capricorns is a very beautiful month. I feel like the majority of you are going to have a good solar return. Some of you are going to really like the results um, of this month, the feelings you're going to experience during this month the situations that may come up during this month, as long as you remain open and flexible, because that's the other message here. Some of you are learning to be more flexible as well and more adapt adaptable, I'm sorry, to circumstances and differences, okay? Um, things that are unpredictable about life and about others and to be less uptight about schedule and, and the program and how things should be to ease on the control issues, ease on the need to be, um, you know, always the one kind of putting the rules or establishing how things should be and allowing actually others in life as well to show you another side for that or to show you how to flow better with things you can't really control in life or to be open to uh, other ways of doing things, other ways of exploring things, other ways of getting what you want. So I feel like there's this big growth as well happening for some of you in just letting yourself flow because also the Ace of Cups and the Star and the Temperance are all about fluids, you know, the fluidity the course of the river. So the more you flow during the month of January, the better you're going to enjoy it. For others of you repressed and restricted and trying to, maybe the re revolution is also about that. This is that for Capricorns insisting in the old ways, in the old agenda that has not been producing results, you know, the more you keep pushing um, in the same way, Okay, this is the, the month where you can not feel, um, where you, yes, you can feel like things are not going or happening or are good as you believe they should be. For Capricorns dealing with this, pay attention and be um, an observer of your own self and try to maybe recognize or see where you are um fixated only on one way when there may be a multitude of possibilities to get you to the same place in different ways you know in different different options different vehicles to get you towards the same location where you want to be so just don't i feel like some of you can't um be in this old mold okay of behaviors beliefs you know 
especially those that are too uh, too much of a controlling nature, too much of a, a domineering nature, too much of my way or no way. Because temperance here, again, is about you learning how to work with differences, how to put together and actually be very creatively um, creatively inspired um, by those differences, the differences that exist in the world and how that is the that is part of the beauty actually that exists out there that creates masterpieces so i hope i was able to provide some insight i want to thank you so much for the opportunity and wish you all the luck in the world hopefully we'll see each other soon